from this also you have one or more so for the green is for the wet and blue is for the dry waste then we have discussed about the types of waste depending on the nature so three types of waste were there depending on the nature first was a just one moment So first was a gaseous waste, which include all the gases. So whatever the harmful gases are there, they are depend. They are the gaseous waste, like sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide, carbon monoxide. Then we do have the liquid waste, which is like present in the field in the form of the pesticides. Then the most important, the chemicals in the factories. So in the factories, what happens when they make the hazardous things and all? During that time, they release the chemicals, or the chemicals will release a, a gas into the atmosphere through the chimneys or some other ventilation things and all. So that is also a kind of liquid waste, or in the form of the liquids, also they release that. Then third type of waste is the solid waste, which is present in our home, also schools, also surroundings, also. So it can be the plastic, it can be the vegetable peel, it can be the fruits, it can be fruit peels, it can be the metals, it can be the any other thing, any other item, whatever you see, which is not useful for you, that will be coming under the solid waste. Then we have uh, discussed about the two types of the solid waste. Just one. So, solid waste, two types are there biodegradable waste and non biodegradable waste. So, about this, we will be discussing later. Before that, we will be starting with a, one more topic, which is the sources of waste. So, today's class. Thought for the day, a little progress each day adds up to big result. So when you do a little, little progress every day, what happens? Ultimately, you will be getting the big results out of it. So that is the thought for the day. Now we will be starting the topic, which is the sources of waste. So yesterday we have discussed types of waste. Today we will be discussing sources of waste. So from where are we getting this waste? So what are the sources of this waste? The first source which we will be discussing is about the kitchen. So kitchen is the ultimate source of getting the waste. In the kitchen, we have the different things like the vegetable and fruit beans. Okay, uh, now one by one, just tell me what are the waste present in the kitchen? Ma'am, like banana. General, teacher, banana peel and vegetable peels also. Ma okay, vegetables and fruit peels. I have added any other. Teacher, plastic, part? plastic covers. Okay, very good. Okay, plastic or we can say polythene covers. Basically, polythene covers, they are good. Then apart from this, uh, groundnut. Do you know what is groundnut? groundnut and dry fruit cells. So you might have seen the apricot. Apricot. Have you seen the apricot? You might have eaten also. Teacher, inside dates that seeds will be. Yeah. Uh, wait, I'll just show you the picture. Just uh, a minute. I'll show you what are the apricots. So apricots are these structure. Uh, these one, the harder one. Then apart from the apricot, you have the walnuts also, which have the outer covering. Um, these one, which have the outer shell. So this outer part is called as the shells. We do not eat this shell. So these are what? They are the kind of waste for us. Or you might have seen the pistachio, right? They also have the outer shell. So groundnut and dry fruit shells, they are the examples of it. Then disposables. You might have seen in your kitchen, the mother will be keeping the disposables like uh, the plates, maybe the glass 
tumblers and all those things are the disposable utensils so they are also what they are a kind of waste after certain time then very important leftover food so whatever food we do not eat what they become they become waste for us so leftover food is also another example of the kitchen waste then used tea leaves so whenever in our home we prepare the tea what happens we will be just removing the tea leaves so that is also kind of waste material the kitchen waste so these are the few examples of the first source which is the we, kitchen we are dropping fruit items yeah tell me dropping food items in kitchen yes dropping food items is also the uh, example okay good so any item sometimes by mistake by mistakenly we do that so that can be added in this examples or so many are there so many like maybe uh, i got uh, the custard milk powder okay so custard milk powder was inside the container what i did i just took that container out i just removed the cover of it and then i use a custard powder so that cover also be have become the waste so it is there in the kitchen waste now second type is the agricultural waste so whatever the waste which is generated where in the agriculture so in the farm dust, which are dust particles okay the small dust particles dust particles from the crops uh, oh, good okay then others also should answer mom pests okay pests okay then do you know what is husk teacher husk husk teacher husk what is that teacher it will be like small like powder type ka comes from rice uh, and wheat flour not basically powder like but they are the outer covering of like uh, the rice you are like bit correct no teacher not machines complete. like this so you can see in this picture these are the husk you might have seen the rice yes so these are the the uh, husk the outermost covering of any seed are called as the husk so they also what they are the kind of waste which are produced where in the seeds also become waste then dried plants you might have seen the few plants they get dry so those plants or dried plants are also the example of the agricultural waste so these mama, are the some of hmm yeah tell me uh, mama did not say seeds they said weeds okay weeds okay weeds which are the unwanted plants that is also can be the example of the waste good good shudesh any other example you want to add on um dried leaves dried plants or dried leaves okay any other thing okay we come to the you know next one which is just one minute we'll come to the next one which is school you might be knowing very well about this okay so tell me what all are the waste which are produced in the school or which we generate as a garbage there ma'am whenever we sharp uh, pencils the uh, the the shaving of it uh, that's also a waste right shaving um, of pencil very good papers the waste papers or the used papers we can say used papers okay then see you might be like doing in the class uh have you ever done it like uh, i don't know we have done it so many times um have you ever i just want ritesh somya and ashwin first of all turn on your video okay i can see somya now i can see ritesh and ashwin okay fine so uh, you might have done it in your school also like whenever your mothers are giving you the rice or maybe chapati when they are giving you or sandwich they are giving you they are giving you in a foil paper right aluminium foil paper they are using when you go to the class after eating eating your rice or the chapati you after eating that what are you doing with that foil 
Ma'am will throw it in the dustbin. Very good. Ashwanth is a good boy. I throw it in the dustbin. Okay. Ritesh is also a good boy. Soumya? Ma'am, usually in my class, they are not throw it in the dustbin. They just throw it everywhere. Very good. <laughs> That's what happened actually. Uh, other than the dustbin, they will be throwing everywhere. Okay. Adrit, what about you? What happens in your class? Some does or some do. Okay. Shutesh, what about you? Same, yeah, ma'am. Some people throw it or they, they just throw it away. Ah, they just throw it away anywhere. But some of the children, what do they do? They just they'll roll play. it up. Yes, Ritesh. They, they'll yes. Play. They'll just roll that and they will play with that. That is the main thing of the use of the aluminium foil, right? So, but we should not do that. We should always throw that aluminium foil into the dustbin. And as soon as they see the teacher and they run back to their seats and they start blaming, ma'am, I did not do that. Sir, I did not do this. This boy has done it. So, right. And till now, the sir and ma'am are not aware who did that. So, this happens actually and we all love enjoying it, right? So, that is the other example of the waste which is like generated in the school. Okay. So, shavings of pencil, used paper, then I told you aluminium foils are the example of it. Then, your mothers, they have given you the toffees or the chocolates. That wrappers are also the examples of these waste which is generated in the school. Then, polythene, sometimes we do carry our lunchbox in the polythene cover. So, that is also the example of the waste we are generating. Then, the fourth type of the waste which we have is the industrial waste so whatever the waste which is generated in the industries they are called as the industrial waste so few examples of it are solid waste so any kind of waste yeah dirty water okay dirty water also can be the example of it then Any kind of the marble or the broken pieces. Ma'am, or expired, uh, like expired electronic stuff. Ma'am, okay. boxes. Very good boxes also. Or the expired, any expired, uh, we can say expired machines also. Maybe a kind of machines we can say or we can say if we are in the, fact, in the industries where the food is being produced. So, we can say expired food also. And electrical components. Okay, good. Electrical components also. So, these are the some of the examples which are generated as a waste by the people there. And now the last type of the waste is called as the surrounding waste. So, the waste which we generate or we see in our surrounding or near our surrounding those wastes are called as the surrounding waste, like dried leaves. A very good example, especially in this season, you might have seen like from the trees, the leaves get dry, dry they become brown in color and they just fall off. So those are the good example of the surrounding. So dried leaves or we can say a dried plant also sometimes are the waste for us. Then dead animals are also waste for us. Have you seen any animals yeah. like on the yeah. roads which are dead? Yes. yes so they are also like waste for us then very very important the dried excreta what do you mean by excreta what is excreta it is shells mm -hmm. shells any any other thing? Mom, does it also come from humans? Yes. Yes, Shitej is right. So uh in the morning, what happens? We all feel like to go to the washroom, right? What do we do there? We do release the excreta. So basically, if I talk clearly in the clear words, 
potty is a word for it right so that is the excreta so you sometimes you might have seen like the animals what do they do maybe it can be like the cows or fellows the dogs or the any other animals what do they do they release at on the roads or maybe near to the roads or the sides of the roads so those also become the waste material or the waste for the surrounding so these were the different kinds of the waste which are the sources of producing the waste anything you want to ask any doubt you have any one of you yes anything you want to ask any doubt so five yeah. types of five types of waste we have discussed then five sources of waste we have discussed the first one the kitchen waste the second one the agricultural waste then the third one we have discussed about the industry. school waste the fourth one industrial waste and the last one we have discussed about the waste which is produced by the surrounding or which is present near the or in the surrounding all right so these are the five waste now i'll be showing you a video just a moment So who all likes seeing the video? No one likes. Only Shitesh like seeing the video. Okay, Adrit and Ritej also is saying. So Amya is also saying yes. Okay, so I'll just show you a video related to this garbage in, garbage out. I very interesting video it is. Is it audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. Today, Sonia and Ankit were planning to play chess in the evening. But when Sonia reached Ankit's house, she saw that he is very upset. What happened, Ankit? Why are you so upset? Sonia, I just read in the newspaper that pollution has become very high in eight cities of our country. According to news, the air in Delhi, Gurugram, Noida has become so bad that so it's... here in our side in Delhi, what happens? You know very well it's like highly polluted area. So where the people they can't breathe. I'll tell you a short story before I start this. You know, um, what happens? Uh, basically, uh, I am from Delhi only, but I was working in Tamil Nadu. All right, for like few years I was working there. So, um, teacher? what we did is we planned. Yeah, as a teacher, I was working there in the teacher, Tamil Nadu. Teacher. So what happened? Yeah, tell me, Ritesh. Yeah, teacher, uh, I should I tell like the mainly cities polluted in India. I can tell the name. Okay, teacher, tell me the names. Teacher, the first one is uh, Delhi. Second one is uh, Assam. Assam. Okay, Assam, then Tamil Tamil Nadu. No, <laughs> Tamil Nadu. Like we can't say Assam is also like we can't say it is a polluted. Polluted cities will be like who has more of factories. So there are the factories amount of the number will be more, and the number of vehicles like cars, bikes, all the things. Then it's Delhi, Mumbai. Um, West Bengal, Delhi, Hyderabad. Mumbai. Okay, Hyderabad. Delhi, Mumbai, Hyderabad. Yes, Hyder Hyderabad uh, mainly vegetable study and high tech city. Yes, good. So yes, these, these are, are what top they, three. Yes, they are the top three examples of that. So I was working there, and then we planned a small a trip kind of things for the children. Where I was supposed to take the around fifty children from Tamil Nadu to Agra, Delhi, and Jaipur for the seven days. Now, what happened? There, you might be knowing. All of you might be knowing. So, I'm gonna turn on your video. We are just discussing a story. So, what happened is like, uh, I was so happy, and children were so happy. Okay, ma'am, we are going to your city, and we are going to have fun and all. And I was also excited at the same time. Then what happened? We just boarded the flight and then we reached to Delhi. As soon as those children landed in Delhi, 
they came out of the airport and they were not able to breathe they were finding very very difficult to breathe why so because when they were in the tamil nadu it was like full of greenery full of trees plants all those things and the clean air but as soon as they come to delhi what happens they were like finding it difficult because here the number of trees are so lo- less sir, and the number it, it's mm-hmm. because the sudden sudden change of temperature uh, comfort and air very good shudesh changes are there air is there air was very much polluted and changes also is definitely so when they landed here they were finding out very difficult because the climate was very different when i talk about their climate and when i when i talk about my climate both are very very different i also experienced it when i traveled it from hyderabad to odisha yes so odisha is full of odisha i think so it might be number 1 due to because many like no homes are there mainly there yes uh, except true. bhubneshwar uh bhubneshwar and uh, atak okay. rest all part are green 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 green, green. yes In so when i am breathing, breathing there i i feel like i really came into a jungle <laughs> yes somya you were saying something yeah tell me somya Uh, so, uh, ma'am, I'm actually from Odisha. So, um, actually, I live in Bhubaneswar. Odisha is full with green and trees. Yeah. So, and what about yes, the Bhubaneswar? Bhubaneswar is also the same thing, but it has less than less trees than Odisha. Okay, if I call you to Delhi, then in that case. I never went to Delhi. So <laughs> if I call you, then so will you feel comfortable? I I I, I experienced it, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. So that is what like we all have the different experience and depending on the age also, right? So you are small. You might feel little difficult to inhale that pollution into your body. So that's what happened. So uh, I told them but, like, so, but the lip people are addicted by it already. Yes, we are actually. We are. We are using. We are used to of it. That is why we are okay with that. So we. I told my children like sit down for some time. I gave them the water, and then after some like half an hour, they were like comfortable then. So that's what like the thing was. What about you, teacher? I am always comfortable. But yes, when I first time when I went to Tamil Nadu. there i was not comfortable because i was not adapted to that much of the heat weather the hot weather there so whenever i used to take the class i used to fall down so it happens i think continuously for 3 4 days i was taking the class i was like on the floor then getting unconscious all those things and i was admitted to the hospital so it took me almost a month time to settle down there and later then i was like okay with the climate of tamil nadu as well So that is what we called as adaptation. Why are in Hyderabad, teacher? No, Delhi. So that is what is like uh, adaptation is. We are like getting, we are taking some time to adapt to some certain kind of the environment. It's pathetic to breathe there. people are not even able to get out of their homes this is so bad ankit how has the amount of pollution increased so much the main reason behind this is burning of stubbles by farmers in haryana punjab uttar pradesh and rajasthan what is stubble the crop residue left after harvesting of wheat mustard and rice etc in the fields is called stubble although there are many reasons for pollution but during winters due to the integrated burning of the stubbles by farmer all these cities turn into the gas chambers i am very disturbed by the pollution of the cities and issue of garbage disposal in our village at that moment ankit's grandfather comes in his grandfather works in the department of environment son being upset will not solve anything shouldn't we do something to deal with these problems grandpa we are just small kids what can we do tell me how do you think these problems can be solved grandpa these troubles can become fodder for cattle 
इफ हैंड हार्वेस्टेड और बाय यूजिंग कटिंग एज मशीन ऑल्सो बाय द टेक्निक ऑफ क्रॉप रेजिड्यू कम्पोस्टिंग स्टबल्स कैन बी यूज एज फर्टिलाइजर बट आदर ऑल दीज प्रोसेस आर वेरी टाइम कंज्यूमिंग और कॉस्ट अ लॉट ऑफ मनी मे बी डेट इज वाई फार्मर्स प्रेफर टू बर्न स्टबल्स अंकित You would be glad to hear that the government of Delhi, Haryana and other states have started taking right steps in this direction. But you must do something towards the problem of your village. One minute, Ankit, what is this composting? Sonia, on everyday basis some garbage gets collected in our home. Out of them some of the waste are biodegradable such as leftover <coughs> food. fruits peels of the fruits and vegetables etc this means that if we dig and put this waste in the soil then in a few days the microorganisms found in the soil will decompose it this technique is called composting okay and this process will greatly benefit farmers too you rightly said son but the problem is that people do not understand their responsibility and here you children can help by making people realize their responsibility well can you tell how can we increase the speed of composting Absolutely we can use red earth worms for this biodegradable waste is red earth worms food if we put such waste into the soil by digging pits for compositing earth worms will soon turn it into compost by keeping the soil lightly wet and grumbling it makes it easier for earth worms to breathe and crawl Very good Ankit we should build many such pits on the collective land of our village after that all of us including our school friends will collect such garbage from every house in the village Who is that village and make it compost when we children will start doing this everyone will start following it after some time well done son but this was only half the treatment what does it mean this treatment is only for the decomposable waste what will you do with the waste that does so two not types decompose? of waste are, are there so third topic we are going to discuss which are the solid waste so yesterday we have discussed like solid waste are of two type the first type is the biodegradable waste talking about biodegradable waste they are those waste which can be decomposed so those waste waste those waste that can be degraded or decomposed so they can degrade or they can decompose by microbial action so when we talk about microbial action it means with the help of the microbes so with the help of the microbes what happen they will be degrading and then after degradation what they do they get mixed with soil so as soon as they degrade they will be mixing with the soil and they act as a manure them so for whom as they will be acting as a manure for the plants so when they become manure the plants will be getting the nutrients from the manure and the plants will be growing easily so biodegradable just wait so biodegradable waste are those waste that can be degraded by the microbial action so they will be converted into the or they will be mixed with the soil and then they will be converted into manure after some time and these manures will be used by the plants for the growth some of the examples are any domestic waste or the waste which is generated at our home like fruit peels vegetable peels then leaves we can uh, decompose them 
the flowers also the papers also the meat also so these are the certain examples of the biodegradable waste coming to the uh, non biodegradable so non biodegradable waste are those which cannot be decompose so they cannot be decompose or they cannot be degraded so we cannot decompose or we cannot uh, degrade them these includes like the plastic so that is why we should not use plastic or the polythene covers because it takes millions of years for them to get decomposed then the you might have seen the uh, pepsi so pepsi uh, mirinda fanta they all comes in the can so those aluminum cans are also non bio degradable then the pesticides means the chemicals which uh, the farmers they are using for their crops to remove the pests they are the pesticides so they are what they are the non biodegradable waste and they cannot be decomposed so i'll show you how they looks like in certain examples of it yes so you can see in the picture the green part is for the uh, biodegradable and the blue side or i can say the black side is for the non biodegradable paper vegetables kitchen waste they are what they are the biodegradable they can be decomposed so the microbes they can work on it and they can convert them into the manure whereas on the other side you can see non biodegradable waste such as plastic metal and batteries the batteries any batteries it can be the remote tv remote batteries or it can be any toy batteries or the ac remote batteries any batteries are like every batteries are included in this non bio degradable waste then the next topic is about segregate so if you want that whatever garbage you have generated if you want that you should not worry about that garbage much what you need to do you need to segregate them so these biodegradable and non biodegradable waste should be segregated so you can see in the first picture the blue color dustbin is there that is for the dry waste or we can say that is for the non biodegradable whereas second part you can second half you can see the biodegradable waste is there which is basically the wet waste or the wet waste so it has a few things here in the dry waste or non biodegradable waste paper plastic wood fabric cloth rags metals glass rubber resin leather thermocol whereas uh, in the biodegradable waste cooked food like the veg and non veg food including the egg shells bones uncooked food fruits vegetable peels fruit and flower waste fallen leaves and other compostable uh, materials or the kitchen waste so these are coming under the biodegradable waste so always dry waste in the blue color and the wet waste in the green color now here we have few of the exam few of the differences between the biodegradable waste and non biodegradable waste this is like very very important you all should know it the first one the first point the biodegradable waste they can be broken down into simple non poisonous substances you might have seen like uh, whenever these uh, biodegradable waste are there like the fruit peel or the vegetable peel they do not release any chemicals now when they not release any chemicals it means they do not produce any kind of poison so they are not harmful for us they are non poisonous so these can be broken down into simple non poisonous substances by the action of microorganism so because of the microbes what do they do they convert them into the non poisonous substance or the simple substance whereas in the case of the non biodegradable waste they cannot be broken down into simple non poisonous substance and what they are they are the non poisonous substance or they are sometimes a poisonous also like if i talk about the plastics so what happened to the plastic when you take keep the plastic or when you consume the plastic it creates the poison or they release the chemicals in the body and they create the poison so they are they some they are sometimes the poisonous also and Hmm. Um, when will we give time to uh, note this down? Uh, Shitesh, I will be sending you that PDF on under resources. Okay, so no need to note it down. All right. Okay.
Second one, they can be, the biodegradable can be recycled naturally as well as by man and their products do not pollute the environment. So what we can do, we can recycle. Like recycle in the sense, we can do the vermicomposting process with the help of the fruit peels, vegetable peels or the tea leaves and all. Whereas in the non-biodegradable, they cannot be recycled naturally. So naturally, they cannot be recycled by the men. But yes, we can recycle them by using, reusing them or by regenerating them. You might have seen, like uh, if in the plastic container, if your, your mother is getting some kind of item in the plastic container, what she do? She just use that item and then later on that plastic box, she is using for keeping some other item in that. So we can either reuse or we can recycle that uh, box, maybe the glass box, maybe the plastic box. And they also causes the pollution. So this non-biodegradable waste, what do they do? They pollute our environment. The third thing, the waste are made up of natural ingredients. So whatever the waste, the biodegradable waste are, they are made up of natural ingredients. Like if I talk about the uh, fruit leaf or fruit peels or the vegetable peels or the dried leaves, they are the natural. Whereas whatever we are getting from the non-biodegradable, they are made in the factories. So this synthetic materials are where they are making in the factories, like the plastic or the glass or maybe any electronic. Teacher, yeah. By whom the garbage is taken out? Man? Safai Karamchari. Uh, means so, who, like, comes in a some yes. Safai Karamchari, they are the people who comes to your society and they collect the garbage. So I'll show you a picture also. Wait, let me show you who are the Safai Karamcharis. Or they clean the roads also. Teacher, teacher, I saw them. I saw them. Actually, actually, uh, that question was then I got confused in that one. <laughs> okay 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 so you can see in the picture also now like people who are cleaning the roads or you can see the Nain Modi also is cleaning the roads so because of the Swaksh Bharat Abhiyan which he has started teacher this is for okay. to Modi teacher. so fourth one yes this is forcefully to Modi this is they forced Modi to do this <laughs> no he himself might be, but he... No, but... Nobody is keeping the roads clean, so he only started it. Right. Then, like, obviously, when ministers do, means even normal people also start doing it. That is true. That is true. If they are doing, definitely the other people also has to do. But yes, someone has to take the initiative for it. So, Mr. Nain Modi ji has taken that initiative and he has started the Abhiyan which is called as the Swaksh Bharat Abhiyan or we do call that as the Swaksh Bharat Mission. Okay, so coming back to the fourth point, they can produce useful products after biodegradation. So, once they are like decomposed by the microbes, we are getting the useful nutrients out of it. Like in the case of this, what do we get? We get the manure. So we get the useful nutrients which the plants will be using. But in the case of this, they remain unchanged chemically. So no change will be there in them. Fifth point, they do not disturb the ecological balance in nature. So if we are uh, getting this decomposed by the microbes, the nature will not be getting any kind of affected thing. But in the case of non-biodegradable waste, what happened? The whole cycle Did will you, get disturbed. Actually, my parents were asking that are you the new teacher of science? Yes. Yes. From now onwards, Samira will not make our class. Oh, no, I will be taking. Science? Yes. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, so coming to the uh, sixth point now, they persist for small time intervals in the environment. So within the small time, what happened? They will be converting themselves into the manures or they will be decomposing. But in the case of the non-biodegradable waste, they will be taking long time to decompose or they will not decompose at all. Examples, paper, cow dung, wood crumbles, whereas example of the non-biodegradable, plastic bags, synthetic fibers, cans, etc. 
so these are the some of the differences between biodegradable and the non biodegradable waste so clear children ashwant adrit shitej hridesh somya uh, yes ma okay i'll yes. give you some 2 to 3 minutes to recall everything and then explain me whatever i have taught you today your time starts now and i will be starting from adrit you can tell the sequence sequence i just want to know about the types of waste then i Which i want to know order about sequence is order order okay the order of the uh, children you are talking about okay adrit ashwant then ritesh then uh, shutej then somya uh, ma'am ma you saying uh, like what what topics we should explain to you whatever i have taught you you have to explain me now or you have to tell me few lines about it teacher can i start okay start teacher you have explained up uh, uh, us about the sources of uh, garbage by which we pollute our area especially school uh, industrial areas um, agriculture fields and uh, kitchen apart from that then where well, uh, what is different types of waste what are those uh, wet waste and dry then what were the biodegradable and non biodegradable waste uh, by teacher name is confusing <laughs> okay what is biodegradable then is it, uh, it's wet it's wet wet Just tell me the definition of it. In which we can uh, keep the uh, materials like fruit peels, groundnuts, and uh... no, no, this is not the definition. When I talk about definition, it means like those waste which can be decomposed by the microbes. So when microbes they start working on it, they can be decomposed. So that is what the biodegradable waste are. all right okay good artesh going to the adrit adrit yes what you have understood till now tell me ma'am you explain about ma'am the waste in schools industries agricultures uh, adrit can you tell me two difference between the biodegradable and non biodegradable waste ma'am the biodegradable waste is ma'am the biodegradable waste is a type of waste hmm typically uh, origination from plants or animals source that is fine they are arised or they are the source from the plants and animals but what happens in that case yes ashwant what do the biodegradable <coughs> waste means Ma'am, biodegradable waste are that they can uh, decompose by the microorganisms. Okay. Yes, Shrutej. Add me some two more points about the biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Ma'am, uh, biodegradable waste. Uh, it is. Uh, it nicely mixes with the soil with the help of microbes. and it is a uh, waste which is from natural and uh, non non biodegradable waste it cannot be uh, recycled and it does not mix well with the soil and examples are plastic metal and rubber um thermocor thermocor okay asomya uh, yes you tell me now the video is off somya
Yes, now I can see you. Yeah. Uh, ma'am, can I talk about biodegradable? Definitely, you can. Ma'am, biodegradable uh, waste are those which um which like help our earth to decompose all of the waste materials such as um such as plastic, uh, plastic, polythene. So plastic and the polythene cannot be decomposed. So they are the non-biodegradable, right? So they will not be helping to decompose plastic because if the microbes, they uh, work on the plastic, then it means they were, what they will be taking? They will be taking the chemicals and they will die. Mm -hmm. Those microbes will die, right? So they will work on the waste which can be like, uh, like the fruit peels you have, vegetable peels you have, or tea leaves you have, or paper you have. Paper also can decompose or any kind of dead animals are there, dead birds are there. So they can be decomposed by the microbes. So biodegradable waste can be decomposed by the microbes and non-biodegradable waste cannot be decomposed by microbes. Ritesh, you are talking with someone there? Yes? Okay, now you are not talking, but earlier you were talking. Okay. So understood like whatever I have taught you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Non-biodegradable uh, materials are like uh, made from synthetic uh, materials. Yes, non-biodegradable are made from the synthetic materials like which are not uh, made by men, which are made maybe in the factories or maybe by the machines or artificially. Yes, artificially. artificially. Yes, artificially. Good. The main term is that. Yes, synthetic is basically artificial only. Okay, so you can you all can start doing the test. Teacher, it's done. I submitted also. Today's test also is done. One more. Two tests are there. Yesterday's test, I think you did it. I think today's test is remaining. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Ashwant and Soumya, turn on your video. Ma'am, do you have to do the test now? Yes, yes, you have to. Ma'am, what is sewage? Basically, uh, you might have seen the wastewater will be moving to that part. Picture, what is sewage? Sewage, I'll show you the picture. Uh, it's kind of drainage like system. So drainage like system where the water flows. You might have seen near yeah. your home or surrounding your home. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Open water is there. Open water sewage here. I'll I'll show you that picture also so that yeah. So these are the different kind of the uh, sewage where the water is there. Basically, uh, we do have the dirty water. You do say it as Nali in Hindi. Ma'am, it will be so disgusting smell. Yes, correct. Why is Swamya and Ashwant again and again turning off the video? Ma'am, I'm uh, done with the test. Ma'am, I'm doing the test. That's why I have to turn off Okay. Video. Okay. Ashwant has done it, Ma'am, right? it is turning off. 
Okay, no, kasi ano yun? Okay. So when you open the uh, resources option in the app, you might be seeing the fun teacher, with learn. Yes, Radesh. Uh, teacher, third one question. Third one question. It's uh, which of the following gaseous uh, pollutant? Sulfur mm -hmm. dioxide, sewage, pesticides, fences, units. So uh, pesticides uh, doesn't provide any type of gaseous. Even pencil settings, this is sewage and sulfur dioxide problems. Hmm. Yes, sulfur dioxide is example. Gaseous pollutant is a sulfur dioxide. Because sulfur dioxide is what is a kind of gas. So which is more like harmful? Sulfur dioxide. Then you have yeah. carbon monoxide also. Then you have the nitrogen dioxide also. So many gases are there. Basically, from the vehicles, we will be getting the carbon monoxide. Okay, under the resources, when you open uh, the option, will be there the one PDF I have uh, uploaded there. Fun with learn. Okay, there you you might be seeing a puzzle kind of thing. Or uh, what you need to do is you need to open and you need to just find out the words. Few words are given like many or the wrappers. Those words you need to find out from that box. All right, the puzzle is given there. And today's homework will be uh, to write a few lines about Swachh Bharat Abhiyan. Fine. Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, you need to write few lines about it. And in the next class, which is on Monday, we will be discussing on that first of all. Okay. You will be telling me about it and then I will be concluding everything together. Ma'am, a few lines in a sense, five lines or something? Yeah. All right. Okay, children, then we'll meet on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye, ma'am. Thank you. Bye, thank you.